Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel Diamond Painting by Nat. In today's video I would like to tell you about one more issue I encountered with the beaded cross stitch kit I am working on right now. Merry Christmas! And I would like to show you how I framed my three completed diamond paintings that you saw a few months ago. But let's start with the beaded cross stitch kit. You can see my current progress now. I am almost done with the church. I have only this little part left to complete. The left part of the design is almost finished. I'm starting to bead stitch the woman's clothes, starting with a hat. Apart from the color-related simple issues I have already told you about, I faced one more. The kit is not only missing one color of beads, but it is not even listed on the legend here. So actually the kit is supposed to have 26 colors, not 25. Do you see the darker orange color here on the tree and as the wire holding the star? Do you see it? Well, you are not going to find the same symbol here on the legend. There is one color orange here on the um, angel's clothes and on the windows of the church. But this orange differs from that one, as you see it is darker. So you can see this orange, this orange corresponds to number 11, but the darker orange, it's not here. Number 10 is this, number 11 is this. Number 12 is this reddish pinkish on the angel's clothes. And where is darker orange that is on the tree and on the Jesus bed, on Jesus bed? It's not here. So, in the end, you will not find the related symbol here on the legend or in the inventory. Therefore, the bits of this color are physically not present in the kit. To tell you the truth, I am shocked. I have never had such an experience. No, I understand that due to a human factor, a certain color bits bag might be missing. It happened to many of us in diamond painting kits or cross stitch kits with a thread, for example, when um, there were no uh, some colors of the drills or one color of the drills, but not even include the color to the list of symbols and mess up the quantity of the colors on the design itself and the related symbols is ridiculous. 25 colors on the design instead of 26. The further I bead stitch this very kit, the more problems I face. No wonder why in the Ukraine this kit costs only $11, but I got it for $40. It is messed up in so many ways. Although I purchased it from Amazon All About Embroidery Store, the kit's brand is Yuma. I will write the name in English and Russian. All About Embroidery just resells the kits. But guys, be aware of this manufacturer, Yuma. This is exactly the reason why I believe all the companies must test their products before putting them to the market. All craft companies, diamond painting companies, cross stage, bead stitch. Just those of you who got this kit, beware of this problem. Those who think of purchasing beaded cross stitch kits, avoid this company, Yuma. This issue is really very serious and unacceptable. I mean, it is a computer program that generates the designs and the patterns. I don't think it was hand-charted. How is it possible to mess up like that? I'm also a member of a Russian-speaking beaded cross-stitch group on Facebook, and I asked the girls about this manufacturer, and that told me that many of them bought the kits from Yuma, and there are girls who give up um, bead cross-stitching it in the middle, of the process because it was impossible for them to differentiate the colors. All of them were 
are color related. So they just stopped bead stitching it. It means that I am not the only one who is experiencing the same issue with this very manufacturer. How I solved this very issue? Thank God I had some beads left from the kit that I bead stitched like five years ago. And I think that they match this color that is absent in this kit. Look at this. I think it matches perfectly here or on Jesus' bed or on the tree. If I did not have those beads, I would end up buying the seed beads in Michael's source somewhere and I'm not even sure if they have the same color or if they have the color that I need. I wouldn't want to end my video on a negative note, so I would like to show you how I framed my three recent diamond paintings. This is the first one, Nesting Doll from Tim Yards. I got this frame from Michaels for around $10. The frame size is 30 by 40 centimeters, and with the mat, the size is 25 by 35 centimeters. I got it so that it could fit the design. Pretty, right? Look how it sparkles. It has AB diamonds, um, regular resin drill diamonds, all of them around. But no crystals, so there are no crystals. Resin diamonds and AB diamonds. The next one is Diamond Painting of Jesus Christ. I have constantly been having problems with finding right size frames for this kind of kits for the icons of the saints. The only ones I could find with fitting size, um, all of them had a mat. This time I decided to order right size frame on Arts to Frames. I have purchased many frames from this online store. They are relatively cheap and they have all the possible sizes. I even made a separate video how to order the frames from that website. If you're interested, just go ahead and check it out. Okay, this way the flash is not reflected. That's nice. So the, this frame size is 25 by 35 centimeters, 10 by 14 inches. The color of the frame is muted silver. Look at this. It was a little bit uh, bigger than the diamond painting, so I had to put a little bit of duct tape or washi tape on the top and on the bottom. But you almost can't see it, right? It's not really very visible. So, I think it looks really very modern. I'm not a fan of ornate frames that I used for uh, for the icons, so I'm really very content with the modern modern look of this diamond painting. The price of the frame was twenty five dollars. Gorgeous! I love how it sparkles. The flash doesn't really uh, allow to show all the beauty of the sparkle. And the last frame I also ordered from R2 Frames because of the non-standard size of the design. It is 40 by 40 centimeters, so 14 by 14 
inches. Uh, it is really very simple. Uh, it is a white color frame, nothing, you know, extraordinary, no ornaments, nothing. Really very simple. I'm sorry that I am recording from the angle. That's because of the flash that is reflecting on the glass. This painting is from Evermoment and it was diamond painted with square drills. So this, the cost of this very frame was $14.67, no, $15. Pretty cheap, right? 40 by 40, $15. The picture is a present for my boss who is um, starting to become a neonatal nurse and she loves black and white pictures. So I hope that she will enjoy this one. Look at this. And I, I really like this website, Arts to Frames, because, oh, is it? Oh my God. Look at this. I haven't even noticed I had wax on the wall. Wow, I noticed it while recording. Whoa, I'm sorry for that. Um, so, and they have absolutely different kinds of sizes, standard, non-standard, and, you know, 14 by 14 inches or 40 by 40 centimeters is pretty non-standard, and to pay just $15 for this kind of frame is pretty cheap. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you soon.